Welcome back to the road show this morning in the Buzz. You may remember that about a month ago, a Panera, a Panera in Missouri announced that it was becoming a nonprofit, and they were unveiling this pay what you wish system. Well, fast forward a few weeks, and it turns out people are basically good. Panera's chairman admits he had no idea if this experiment would work, but he says it's performing better than we might have even hoped. Now, here's how it works cashiers tell customers their orders suggested price based on the menu, and about 60 to 70 percent of people pay in full. About 15 percent leave a little more and another 15 percent pay less or nothing at all. A handful have left big donations like twenty dollars for a cup of coffee and now Panera says they plan on opening more nonprofit restaurants in the coming months. So the question is are you guys surprised that this seems to be working? A little but I'll tell you what it, it's got to make you happy that you know that I mean seventy percent of the people are leaving uh, at least a suggested, if not more, that makes you feel good that there are still still good people in the world. Way to go. <laughs> yeah, you know what, it's, uh, it's great to see that people yeah. still will give back and um, just let their conscience rule. I wonder, though, if it would do better in some parts of the country compared to others, like the Midwest versus the yeah. Northeast. Yeah. You know? yeah, I would have to believe, you know, in, in the Midwest, I think that there is a sense of, of community that you don't mm -hmm. get in other areas of the country. But I... I I'm not entirely surprised that in Missouri it worked, but I do know that there are places where this hasn't worked, where people have set up, you know, pay as you wish, uh, you know, a massage therapist or pay as you wish yoga classes and that sort of thing. And sometimes it works and other times it doesn't. I think guilt is a big factor, yeah. though. Yeah. You know, even in your own mind, yeah. that you, this idea that, like, well, I, I don't, I, I just feel not like it's not right yeah. if I don't pay the full price. We were talking about that in the, in a, in the meeting this morning, saying, um, you know, if it was just a container maybe that you left stuff, you know, they have these farms on the side of the road that put their fruits and vegetables out and you leave it in the container, then I think maybe the numbers wouldn't be... Uh, in it, you know, as, as good. Right. Um, but the fact that there is a cashier there, there is people you kind of have to look in the eye. And <laughs> yeah, money, yeah. You know. It drives home the yeah. point. But I think the fact that it goes to charity, too, is also a... Uh, you know, I, yeah. I mean, we, we, not only are you eating, not only are you paying, but it's you know the money is going towards charity. It's got to make you feel good. I mean, I would feel guilty if I went and left like a buck and got a full meal. Right? And Panera is not a cheap lunch. It, right. It's not. Yeah, it's not. So you've got people that are overpaying, but then you also have people that maybe it's a real treat for them to be able to go there. And if they can't afford the full price of the meal, somebody else kind of picks up the slack yeah. for them. Yeah, and it's good to know that the doors are open to, to a person who, you know, says, oh, I forgot my wallet at home, or oh, maybe I can't afford right. this, and they can just walk in and get, you know, a high meal. Right. Uh, do you guys think this would work here in our area in Rhode Island? I think it would. I mean, I, I think the people of Rhode Island are good people. Yeah. We're honest people. I think we'd be, do, do just fine. Mm -hmm. Think you think so, so too? Yeah. I have to say I totally agree. You know, time and time again, Rhode Islanders have opened up their wallets. I mean, we've seen in the in the telephone, right? Yeah, strange. when people when when uh, people were dealing with the flooding and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. uh, even after it left the news headlines, you know, Rhode Islanders were still opening up their wallets and giving to other Rhode Islanders who really were in need. So I think it would work. Uh, all this talk, though, has made me a little hungry <laughs> <laughs> this morning, and I want to throw it over to Courtney Calagiri because, Courtney, I was wondering, wh what do you think? Do you think one, one would work around here? I think so, because I was mentioning in the meeting earlier, museums operate like this on a donation basis. They have this suggested retail, and they've been around forever. So I don't see if, you know, if it works in another part of the country, why wouldn't it work here? So hopefully one of those Paneras comes our way in uh, the Northeast over here. But folks on the live blog agree. They think it's, it's great to hear what a success it is. So we'll read some comments from the blog on foxprovidence.com. And Joseph Buterra says, I think that this program's success is great. I am very surprised to see Panera's nonprofit restaurant actually work but I am glad that it did and JB says people are really generous when they can be if food and service are good then it's worth the time and the money here's the poll here right underneath the live blog are you surprised that Panera's pay what you wish eatery is successful choices are a yes some could take advantage of it or b no people are good and want to contribute we have quite a few comments on our Facebook page on this Monday morning. Folks have been weighing in over the past hour. And Pamela Burkett says, I'm not surprised. I think most people are honest. Those that have the money to pay fair value will. I really think it's awesome for Panera to do this. And Lori Ruizzo says, I think it's crazy to do something like that. Most people want something for nothing, and the majority are not honest. So you can weigh in a number of ways this morning. We'll see what you all said. And our final results, which will be in the poll, about 30 minutes we'll do that. But for now, talking about food, we're going to head into the kitchen with Lily.